This thing may look weird as hell. Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to Garage Gear, I'm JB. A week or two ago, I picked up this Toro lawnmower for five bucks. What a steal! I cleaned up the carburetor and got it running on the first pull. You can check that video out, I'll have it linked down below in the description. Today, we're changing the oil on this bad boy. Stick around. Now as we look closer at this mower, you can see that it only has a short stubby dipstick. There's supposed to be a longer one here, but this is what it came with. Now if I were to tip this mower on its side, it would probably leak all over the side of the mower deck and down onto the ground. Now as we look closer here, you can see that the original owner probably had that issue. There's oil all over this flap, over here, and a little bit of residue here on the deck. Ugh. So now you might be thinking, well JB, how do we get the oil out of this thing without making a mess? Remember guys, your wives are 93% happier if you keep your garage floor clean. We're gonna use one of my new favorite tools, an oil extractor. Now this thing may look weird as hell, but it does exactly what I need it to. Doesn't this thing look like a wrecking ball? Now this extractor can pull out about six liters of oil, and for situations like this, this is the perfect tool. If you are interested in purchasing one of these oil extractors, check the link down below in the description. So we're gonna start out by running the engine for about five minutes, and I'm gonna take this little clamp tool here and hold down the throttle lever. We want the engine oil to be warm, so that way it moves a little bit more freely. Once you ran the engine for a couple minutes, shut it off, pull it in the garage, and get ready to extract some oil. So now we're gonna untwist our dipstick here. That thing is tiny. Oh my God, wow. I'm gonna set that off to the side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my oil extraction hose, I'm gonna stick that into our oil dipstick hole. I'm gonna kinda hold that in place. And then from there, I'm just gonna start pumping. And if you look, the oil is now draining into our container. And as we look closely, we can see more little bubbles inside this oil and debris. I can actually see metal shards flowing into the container. Pretty cool. Now, one of the other things that I really like about this pump is that it pumps out the oil pretty fast. In record time, that oil is drained. Now, this may take about, I would say, 10 to 20 good pumps to get it all out. But all those pumps are really getting this stuff going here. And if you notice, my hands are clean. That's cool. Oh, you hear that? That means we're starting to get low. Now when I start to hear that sound, what I'll do is I'll take a board and I'll lift up the mower on the opposite side and stick it under, or you could adjust the height adjusters. I just like to shove a board under there really quick. That'll help lean the machine and drain the oil more toward our side. And that'll drain any more remaining oil out. Another point I wanna make here is that tipping an engine on its side is not always a safe thing to do. So by using a tool like this, you can actually pump the oil out in a safer way. I'd say we're just about good here. Not much oil is traveling up this pipe. Now, some people will say that tipping an engine on its side gets more oil out, or some people might say using an oil extractor might get more oil out. Now, I think it's pretty debatable. Engine blocks have lots of little nooks and crannies inside, and I would say that this oil extractor gets about 95 to 100% of the oil out. If you were to tip the engine on its side, that would get about 95 to 100% of the oil out. You're always gonna have some residual oil stuck inside the engine block. In my mind, I think this is the safer method. This way I'm not tipping the engine on its side. All right, so now all our oil is out. I'm gonna take my hose, I'm just gonna kinda wipe it off real fast, and then we're just gonna set our pump aside. One thing I like to do with this is stick the hose through the handle and stick it upwards, so that way no oil drips out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick in my funnel, and I'm gonna use some full synthetic 5W30 motor oil here. I'm gonna pour this in and fill her up. Now this mower doesn't take much oil, so I'm just gonna fill it up a little bit at a time. Add the oil in slowly, and that should do. So now I've let my oil settle for a little bit. I'm gonna take my funnel out. I'm gonna take my dipstick. I'm gonna put that back in. I'm gonna twist it down, and then I'm gonna pull it back out, and we're gonna check our oil level. We are smack dab in the middle of these little crosshairs. We're good. We're gonna put it back in, and our oil change is now done. All right, guys, so now some of you might be wondering, how do I get the dirty oil from this extractor into my container here? Well, all I gotta do is literally just twist off my hose here, pop it off, set that aside, and then they give you this convenient little pouring spout. Boom, you just shove it on. You can take the pump right off, 
and then you can pour it right into your container. Pretty simple. I'm a big fan of this thing. I even use it on my Toro Tie Master because this thing's just too big to tip over. I use it on my power washer. For just about any machine you have a tough process of changing oil on, this is a great tool to have. Be sure to recycle any dirty motor oil you use at a local AutoZone or any place that'll take recycled oil. Look at it this way. If they sell oil, they usually have to recycle it too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that about does it for another episode here at Garage Gear. Stay tuned for an upcoming video on how to clean and shine up your lawn equipment so that way you can make more money selling it on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below so that way you stay up to date with all the latest content here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.